This is a video for how to go about creating the first item in your 20 ISOs project in Fusion 360. You're going to notice that when you load Fusion 360, you will see a blank screen here. Now, in a previous video, we have talked about going in and making sure you are in your Fusion 360 work folder. Make sure that you are in that before you begin. One quick thing I want to note is that if you come up to document settings, you can notice that in units right now, we are in inches. We're just going to go ahead and stay in inches. But if by chance you wanted to change your units, you can go in and actually change your active units from inches to almost anything else. But we're just for the sake of discussion just going to say in inches for all of the 20 ISOs project assignment. So when we first look at our 20 ISOs project assignment, we're going to start by drawing this shape that we see right here. So in order to start that, we need to grab a hold of our pencil and we are going to select a work plane. And in this case, we're going to select this work plane and we're going to go in and click on our line command. And you'll notice that the first thing we're going to draw is going to be a line that goes vertically one, two, three, four, five. So back to Fusion 360, we're going to go up and we're going to go up five. Now I can drag up along this and snap or as I drag I can just hit the number five on my keyboard and hit enter and you'll notice automatically it goes to five we're gonna go back up to our line command click at the top of this line and we're gonna go and we will see now that we will have a line that goes a distance of three so we will now come over and we will just we can drag however you choose to do it and I'm just gonna click and go to three I hit escape I'm gonna go back up to my line command come back down here and we will draw a line over a distance in this case of five so we'll drag over We'll put in five, we'll hit enter. Give me my line command again. I'm gonna click and we're gonna go ahead and finish off that shape. Now we're gonna go up to finish sketch, which is the check mark in the top right hand corner. We're gonna click on our house button, which will give us an isometric view, and we are going to click on extrude. And when we click on extrude, you will notice that we have this blue arrow. We can drag this way or negatively on the opposite side of the plane. In this case, we're gonna go negative and we're gonna go back the depth distance, which is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are going to put in a distance of negative six, negative six and hit enter. We're going to click on our house button. And we will now have our first basic shape, our, our, our basic form, I should say. Shapes are two-dimensional, forms are three-dimensional. So for our next part here, we're going to get ourselves a work plane that goes right down through the center of this object. In order to do that in Fusion, we have to go up to the work plane panel that says construct. And I want to go down and find something that says mid plane. We'll click on mid plane. We click on this surface. We go to the opposite side. We tap on this surface and we're going to get a mid plane that goes right down through the center. Let's click on our house button. Now we need to click on our um, create sketch button in the top left hand corner and we're going to create a sketch on the work plane that went right down through the center. And we click on that you're going to notice that it's going to turn. Now if I click on my house button you can see that we have this grid that's going right down through the middle of the object. What we want to check over here in our sketch palette toolbar area is we want to click on the word slice and you'll notice that I now have section lines that show that we have now cut that in half. Let's click on the word front and let's go back to our 20 ISOs and we want to draw for ourselves a line that goes one, two, three, four. So I'm going to come back up to my line command and I'm going to come over a distance of four and I'll hit enter. Notice that we can always, you know, right click and go back up to repeat line if we want. We can come back over and click line over here. So in this case, I'm just going to right click and go to repeat line. Come down here to the bottom and I'm going to draw over a distance of four. Right click again, uh, excuse me, right click again and go to repeat line. Accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Apologize about that. So I'm going to right click and go up to uh, line command again and we're going to click and I'm going to finish this part off. Now one thing I want you to notice is you absolutely have to draw a line here as well. Notice that since I just connected two dots, I didn't put in a distance, I can just go ahead and stay in the line command. So I'm just going to click and drag down through here. And I now have myself a finished sketch. Notice how it turned light blue when the sketch was completed. Notice that this is a closed profile. If I poured water inside of this, nothing would leak out of it. We're going to go to finish sketch. We're going to click on our house button. We are going to click on our extrude button. And you'll notice again that it's going to ask us which direction we want to go. Now, in this case, we have this right down through the center, and we want to do a symmetrical extrusion, one that goes on both sides. So we're going to come over to our extrude toolbar. You'll see that you have these panels that you can come in and out of based on what you selected up here at the top. And we're going to go down to direction, and we're going to go to symmetric. Now, you might say that as you look in here, well, symmetrical, well, it's a distance of two. And notice what happens if we come down to distance and we put in two. Automatically, it's going to say two on each side. 
In this case, we only want one on each side. So you'll notice that we have one on the left, one on the right. We're going to stay here. and We're just going to go ahead and say OK. And I click on my house button, and that's a nice, good zoom view. Now we are completed with 20 ISOs number one. We will click the Save button up at the top. And notice how it says Location. Now you could choose different types of projects if you wanted to. We're going to stay in Fusion 360. And where it says Untitled, um, for me, I'm going to call this uh, one 20 ISOs. So I know which one it is. And I'm just going to call this 120 ISOs. You can call it whatever you want. And I'm going to go ahead and say save. And we now have our first 20 ISOs object created for your 20 ISOs project. If I come back over here into our folder, you'll notice that there it is in that project folder. This is the first version. There's all these different things that you can do with each one of the items that you have created. And we'll get into that more as time goes on. So this has been a video on how to create item number one for your 20 ISOs project.